What is good, YouTube? Man, how is everybody doing? Listen, today we got ourselves an interesting video. Like, look, there's not a lot of news going on, but I am going to give my thoughts and opinions on a defensive tackle. And no, it's not a Dominican Sue, man. Uh, we're going to talk about somebody that was on this Raiders roster last season. Now, of course, the defensive coordinator that he was brought in to play with is no longer with this team. But nonetheless, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, we're going to be talking about a man by the name of Darius Phylon. Um, A big, big thing to me with Darius Phylon, straight off the bat, he can generate pressure up the middle. He is a disruptor. Why wouldn't you want that on your team? Now, Let's go into it a little bit. Obviously, you know, Darius Phylon, he suffered a season-ending injury in our last week of the season against the Los Angeles Chargers when we sent them home packing. Now, Darius Phylon is six foot one, 286 pounds, and only 28 years old. But, like I said, he suffered a season-ending injury in the last game. That was a quad tear. He tore it, he tore it all up. He blew it out. He blew out his uh, quad in the last week of the game now. When I look this up, it takes about eight weeks to heal from surgery for a quad. Now, that's for just me and you, right? We're not playing on the defense line against 350-pound linemen. So it's going to be a process in order for Darius Fineline to get back on the field. But what I will say, if Darius Fineline can come in, we know that he's already been in contact with the organization and this new regime as they brought him in for a visit earlier on in this offseason. But a big thing for me, and I think it should be, the same for you guys. Um, if Darius Farline does get brought in, there's a big condition. He doesn't get signed if he doesn't pass his physical. That's obvious, right? But um, I want us, even if we sign him, don't make him rush into him, okay? Don't make us rush into things. If he needs up until week four of the season, that's fine. He only started in two games last year. He played in 11, but like I said earlier on, he is a disruptor. If you look at his stats, Two pass deflections, two fumble recoveries, 27 tackles, two sacks, five tackles for loss, and two quarterback hits, all in 11 games. Those are pretty good stats. Now, let me tell you something. Um, PFF, their grading scales, you know, it's good and it's bad, right? It does show it does show a good grading scale at times. But this man right here, Darius Phylon, for a guy that has the versatility to play nose tackle, for the guy that has the versatility to play uh, three technique, five technique on the defensive line of scrimmage, uh, defensive line on the line of scrimmage, um, he offers a lot of versatility. And I think that that needs to be accounted for when we're grading these players. They're not just great at one position. He's doing a lot of things. Now, one thing I will say, if Darius Phylon gets brought back, do I think that he's an immediate starter? I think that he can start in certain packages. As of right now, it is up in the air with Jonathan Hankins. It is up in the air with Bilal Nichols and his knee injury. So we do want to go out and get more depth, right? You know, in my opinion, Matthew Butler, um, he's a great player, uh, or he should become a good player. But we also has got, have guys in this roster like Vernon Butler, who didn't show up to camp at all. And uh, you really wish that you can get guys in the building or, you know, some, some quote unquote camp bodies. You know, we signed Tyler uh, Lancaster not too long ago, but I overall want more depth. And I think that Darius Phylon provides that. Of course, uh, he earlier on in the offseason, just as a visit with us, he had one with the Indianapolis Colts and Gus Bradley. But He's expressed time and time again on social media to fans uh, out in public that he would love to stay in the silver and black. So I will ask you guys this. He got $980,000 last year to play for the Las Vegas Raiders, and I think he outperformed that contract pretty handsomely, right? Five tackles for loss, 27 tackles, two quarterback hits, two sacks, two pass deflections, two formal recoveries. I think he, I think he surpassed a $980,000 contract. So I'm here to ask you guys. With the injury pending a past physical, what is the money that you would give Darius Fallon? In my opinion, I would have no no issue in the world uh, if he got a one year, two million dollar contract. Uh, I think that's good enough to pay a guy that's coming off of an injury that will be a rotational piece. You know, we paid guys five million dollars like a Solomon Thomas, and he didn't put up numbers like this. So um, I definitely, definitely, definitely think that we should five room in the budget for Darius Phylon, like I said, pending a past physical.
But without further ado, you guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on Phylon. Would you like him back? Would you like to just go to another free agent target that we know is healthy? Maybe Eddie Goldman, Linval Joseph, Brandon Williams. Those are all good names that are out there still, right? Uh, uh, of course, Adam can sue. But what are your guys' thoughts and opinions? Bring Phylon back. Yes or no? Let me know your guys' uh, comments, thoughts, and opinions in the comment section down below. And as always, I love you guys. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day. And I am out. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star.